uh, we uh, skip some part of the uh, memory, do not dump to the disk, we see a, a dramatically decrease in uh, the downtime. Uh, it should be noted that we currently didn't uh, measure the uh, effects of combining uh, concurrent crush dump and uh, selective dump. For disk outlet control, we uh, are trying to uh, uh, measure a uh, virtual machine which is our intensive. This virtual machine uh, is uh, and they copied a small file between the booting and the recovery when booting the recovery domain so that this this virtual machine is our intensive. So we started two cases. So the first case is a recovery virtual machine is given higher hour priority. And the second case the crash dump is given uh, much higher hour priority. <coughs> And in this uh, two case, for case one, we can see the, uh, if the recovery uh, VM has higher hour, uh, higher hour priority, the downtime is uh, around uh, 31 seconds, and there is a very small memory reallocation. And for the, this case, if the crash VM has higher hour priority, the downtime increase. Uh, from uh, 31 to uh, 54 seconds. Uh, in this case, they, they are faster memory relocation. To conclude, uh, we uh, provide the, a concurrent uh, uh, crash dump and recovery scheme to minimize the downtime uh, of uh, this uh, crash dump and uh, it, it uh, can make a better uh, usage of hardware resource. And we also investigate the effects of selective uh, crash dump using VM-based introspection. And uh, we also implement a simple disk hour control mechanisms to balance uh, the uh, our bandwidth between the crash VM and the, uh, uh, the recovery VM. In our future work, we uh, plan to uh, um, fully mature such a uh, prototype uh, by studying and uh, investigating the uh, combination of these three techniques and uh, probably uh, may in incorporate more tuned uh, quality of, of, of service control. We also uh, plan to uh, investigate uh, in a multiple environment uh, which the CPU, CPU cost is abundant. Uh, we, we are planning to uh, try to use the one core to co compress some part of the memory before uh, crush, uh, before uh, dumping it into your uh, disk. Uh, that's uh, the talk. Thank you for your attention. I'd like to questions. of lab migration and uh, the crash dump. So uh, for lab migration, uh, it's uh, usually used to survive from the hardware failure. That is uh, to say the virtual machine is healthy. But in, in the crash dump case, the, the problem lies in, inside the virtual machine. So uh, uh, did I answer your question? Okay, uh, yeah. uh, I think that, uh, okay. So uh, you're challenging the uh, the usefulness of uh, the crash dump. Uh, basically, I 
I don't know. But uh, I, I can say something. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the, uh, since uh, uh, the crash dump uh, is used to save the uh, 14 contacts in the disk so that you can use the crash utilities uh, in them to an analyze the uh, root cause of the failure. So uh, in this case, if you crashed, then you can uh, you reboot it again. But it, but it eventually will crash. Uh, but, but during this period, you can use the uh, crash analysis tools uh, provided by them to analyzing the root cause of the crash. And you can use our lava updating tools to patch the running washing machine. So you, you can uh, eventually uh, immune from uh, such crash. Did I answer your question? Okay, thank you. No. Thank you for the attention.